Hey guys, and welcome to my new Let's Play. <clears throat> a new Let's Play, I should say. This is a game that people have wanted me to play for quite a while, and I've spent a considerable amount of time trying to track it down. I've bidded on it quite a bit on eBay, but I always lose it. It just seems to go for silly money. Um, until I went into my local CEX, and uh, which I check pretty much every day. Um, and I found it in there. Of course, talking about Silent Hill 4, The Room. And I paid £8 for it. It's a lot cheaper on the original Xbox. <clears throat> now, I don't have an OG Xbox anymore. I am trying to get a proper modified one. Um, when I get some cash for it. Um, but, unlike Silent Hill 2, which is not backwards compatible with the Xbox 360 4 reasons I assume reasons to do with the HD remaster which is apparently garbage or at least at least Silent Hill 2 on the remaster is rubbish uh, Silent Hill 3 on the remaster is actually supposed to be quite good <clears throat> um, or at least okay so we're going to be back playing this on the 360 uh, apparently it's pretty good on the 360 there are some strange uh, glitches in some scenes, sometimes, on the faces. They don't show the correct animations. But, alas, um, I couldn't, um, I couldn't get the PlayStation 2 version. It's just, it's crazy money. Um, so, anyway, what do we have here? I've never played this one, either. I've heard it's rubbish, and it's, um, where Silent Hill first started to lose its momentum. Um, which is interesting. I played the demo of this on the original Xbox back in the day. And uh, from what I remember, I actually quite enjoyed it. So, a room full of nightmares. A new terrifying story in this, the groundbreaking, shocking and most disturbed series. Wow. S enjoying the smell of their own farts there. Of them all. Henry Townsend wakes up from a dream into a nightmare as he finds himself inexplicably trapped in his own apartment. He discovers a mysterious portal therein which leads to a horrifying alternate reality and the shocking truth to the horrific mystery. Silent Hill 4 contains gruesome sights and shocking images that defy imagination. Nice. Testing your sanity to the limit. Henry Townsend must find his way out of this nightmare and through... You just... Nightmare and through... Oh, and... Yeah, and though you discover the dark, terrible secrets of Silent Hill, dare you enter the room? Yes. This game contains scenes of graphic violence and should not be played by people of a nervous deposition. Ah. All new riveting Silent Hill adventure with shocking plot twists. Fend off new monsters, including ghosts that defy physical reality. Uh, visual transitions between first and third person gameplay modes. Interesting. First in the series. Explore new environments, including an outworldly forest and grisly prison. Grizzly prison? Isn't that kind of standard for Silent Hill? Cool double-sided mini poster included within the manual. Hmm. Alright. Let's have a little look. Uh, so that's the manual. Which is actually quite nice. I miss manuals. Um, yeah, this is a really nice manual. Very, very nice, actually. A lot... B oh, well, there's the double-sided poster, I guess. Which, I, of course, I'm never, ever going to take out of my manual. Because I like to keep it in good nick. Um, actually has some enemies in there as well. Child... Wow, there's loads of stuff. Like, look at this. They really went all out in this manual here. Uh, sadly, I don't have the guide for this game. Unfortunately. But, let's get into it. I do like collecting my guides, but Silent Hill guides are insanely expensive. I had the Silent Hill 1 and 2 guide back in the day, but God knows what happened to them. So, without any further waffling... I'm actually quite looking forward to this. 
So let's get into Silent Hill 4, The Room. Now, Silent Hill 1, I love. Silent Hill 2 was amazing. Silent Hill 3 was pretty good. I enjoyed it. This, hmm. Intriguing, Konami. And I need to change my settings. Everything's a little bit weird over there. One second, guys. I will be right back. That's better. Now we're filling the screen. There's Konami. Why they never, like, released any of these? Some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel, I think that said. Excellent! Wow. Hmm, that was really bloody quite cool, actually. Cloud, please don't sit with me. I like. You know, Silent Hill does such a wonderful job with its ambience and its sound effects. And and the audio is just great. And this doesn't seem like it's going to be any different in that regard. Um, what I do like about playing uh, Xbox games on the... Uh, 360 is you get such a clean crisp picture so anyway let's have a little look at the options um, 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 um. okay that's all fine button settings are fine and one thing I do like is being able to use this and not the um, original Xbox controller which I do like but I don't like the white and black buttons um, Default control, walk, I guess. Noise effect on. No. I hate it when they put filters over the screen. And Cloud, please don't sit in my manual. Thank you. Guys, don't get cats. Just take it from me. You don't want one. Uh, right, okay, exit. Cool. Do you want to change the options? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, baby. Right, let's go for it. 2004. I don't know why these games were never re-released on Steam or in HD or something. Well, apart from the HD remaster that was really not that great. So, I've never played this game before. So, this is going to be blind. If I do get stuck anywhere, I probably will use a guide. Um, just because it's better for when you're recording. Let's go normal. Now, Silent Hill 2 had two different difficulties. It had one for the puzzles and one for the enemies. 
It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying life, his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a reoccurring dream each night. He couldn't leave room 302. Okay. Missed the last bit, which is annoying. This definitely looks like the other world. Hmm. The yeah, game looks very nice uh, on the. Th Ooh, on the three sixty. Okay, I wasn't sure about this whole first person thing, but hmm, it's all right. What's with this room? Uh, I don't know. What can we search? It's covered in blood and rust. Uh, accurate. Didn't realize that was blood and rust, but cool. So there's our bed. Doesn't exactly look very nice. Looks like we're living in some kind of squat. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? Hmm. I don't know, buddy. This is my room. Is it really my room? I don't know, buddy, but I'm sure we're going to find out. Can we sleep? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. Huh. Okay. The window. I can't get it open. Yeah, this game is really freaking dark, by the way, guys. Like, that's just how this is. It's dark for me as well. This is my bed. Well, I hope so. I hope it's your bed. Let's see if we can turn the brightness up. I usually don't like doing this, but holy shit. Can we not turn the brightness up? Oh, yeah, there we go. Brightness press A. Yeah, you know. I don't mind a game being dark it's cool but what's that like is that not too washed out I don't mind a game being dark but when you literally cannot see what you're doing I don't like that especially when there's loads of stuff to search right that's Okay, if that looks really bad, let me know, guys. Uh, by the time I see comments on this... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because I always record so far in advance. Um, my head hurts. I don't remember putting up this photo. This church. Oh, there's a lot of churches and stuff in Silent Hill. Uh, can we... Oh, okay, we can go through the door, even though there's no icon. The hell is that? Oh, we're in a hallway. Now, I do remember this room. My god, this looks really razor sharp. Now, some games actually on the Xbox were in high definition. So, I'm guessing this is one of them. And some PlayStation 2 games were as well. Only a few. Uh, what have we got? Oh, what the fuck? Creepy. It looks like a face. Yeah, we got a moldy face on our walls, guys. <clears throat> I don't think that's standard. It's part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. <clears throat> but when the baby made lots of friends... Oh, but the baby made lots of friends at a wish house. And everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here and I can't read any more. Okay, <clears throat> so baby and mother um, were connected, as all humans start life as. Um, and then the mum died, I guess. And the kid was orphaned. Is that us? I didn't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. Uh, it looks like a hi-fi to me. You remember those? Where did this big TV come from? 
I thought I had a record player here. Um, hmm. Okay, so why are we looking at a very different room? This isn't ours. Are we in someone else's? I thought I moved this, but now it's back where it was. I wonder what's happening here then. So is this like how somebody else had this room? Maybe. We actually exam. Ah, oh, what's that? What's in there? What's this? I don't know, buddy. Have a fiddle with it and find out. Jesus. Well, that's not good. Ooh. Ooh. We got zomboids. So I think that's a zomboid. Oh, is that the face that was in the wall? Yeah, it was. Hey there, buddy. Can I help you? That's all. Seems to have just appeared in my house. Previous occupant of the room, maybe? Hmm. That was interesting. And of course, you've got that wonderful Silent Hill music. so criminal that we're not going to get another Silent Hill game. It actually really sucks. Especially as the demo was so good on the PlayStation 4. Okay. Yeah, you can see the texture warpage, but that's not bad if that's the only problem. Okay, so that was a dream. Alright. Now we're back in our actual apartment, which doesn't look that great. Still not working. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, okay, so someone wants help for something. Well, let's have a little look around. Well, we've got a globe here now. I thought you said that picture wasn't there. This is a photo of the church I ran across whilst visiting Silent Hill. Uh-oh. For some reason, I was really attracted by the way it looked, so I took the picture. Oh, so we've been to Silent Hill, I guess. There's a lot of small items here, but none of them are is particularly interesting. All right, well, it's your own stuff, buddy. It's 
strange woman? Is that a friend of ours or are we just a pervert? Seems like she's on drugs. Do we have to wait for this scene to be over or what? Okay, I guess we can stop looking when I... Oh! Wait, what? Okay. Can't see anything else weird. Bar Southfield. Hotel Ashfield. Resort. Oh, restaurant. Fusilli? Can't really read it because how pixelated it is. Ah. Oh. Bloke on his couch was doing something. Okay, so we can look out the window. Can't open this window. Up until a few days ago, it was no problem. Ever since I started having those nightmares. I wonder if that's to do with the fact that we've got like photos from Silent Hill in our room. It's a brand new scrapbook. You can view the contents of the scrapbook by pushing the Y button. Okay. You still haven't got anything... <laughs> Okay, cool. Alright, well, we've got a scrapbook. Can't look at anything else. Let's move out of here. The controls for first person mode are weird. I don't know. Oh, so we start off looking at that door directly ahead of us. Which is a bit weird. Okay, so we've got a toilet. Dude, you need to fucking clean up around here, man. Just a normal bathroom. Nothing has changed since I moved here two years ago. What, even the dirt? <sighs> There's nothing to do here. Well, at least you don't need a shit. I don't feel like washing my face right now. Yeah, you'd probably get dirty if you used that, to be fair, buddy. Can we, like, look? We can't actually move around here. Just the typical stuff you find around a sink. Nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, you, know, you got a lot of towels uh, of some guy that like lives on his own. Hmm. Okay, so now we can go into our front room. Oh. <laughs> um. I mean, that's some serious security. To be fair. Wait, he said he didn't have a big TV. The chest could hold a lot of stuff. Yeah, but... Ah, that's an item box. Uh, okay. That I was not expecting. What about the TV? Weird, a few days ago, the power to my TV and VCR just cut out. Ever since I started having those nightmares. You haven't, like, phoned anyone up about this? Okay, this is strange, because like, he said he had a record player there. Unless... Unless, when we were dreaming, we were somebody else. I mean, we were Harry, but we were dreaming we were someone else. Ooh, that's Silent Hill, -y. Looks like a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written years ago. Let's have a little look. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within, yet without the Lord's word. Unlike the world of our Lord, it was a world in extreme flux, unprecedented doors or walls. Oh, unexpected doors or walls. Moving floors... Odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? Are they talking about the outworld? 
This is part of the book's too damaged to read. It's important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. Okay, so don't go into the other world with too much shit. Alright. You put the scrap in your scrapbook. Okay. Book scrap, right. Huh. Oh, that's funny. They actually put a little jape in there from the actual director. That's that's quite cool. I like that. This is really interesting that we can like look outside of this room that we're trapped in. And everybody else is just going about their normal day. But we're stuck here, not able to move. Okay, so we get the same like view, just shifted slightly. The main power is off, so even if I press it, nothing happens. Hmm. Oh, okay, well that's a safe spot. We'll do all that in a minute. It's a photo of me as a kid, and then when I graduated from high school. Right. Oh, we've got the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. Can we look at this? No, I thought we might be able to look at the book. Look. Wow, there's so much to look at. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, uh, the superhero at South Ashfield Heights. All right. This photo of the outside of the South Ashfield Heights. It was immediate. I was immediately attracted to it by the outside of the building as well as the view from the top window here. When I moved here two years ago, it almost felt like I was being drawn here. Uh, that's not good, buddy. Something definitely has power over you. I would say. Right. Okay. Let's look at that. Anything we can examine here? So, like any health items anywhere or something? White wine. Take the bottle of white wine. Sure, you got the white wine. Wine bottle. Weapon. <laughs> bottle of white wine from the refrigerator. It'll break eventually if I keep using it as a weapon. Um, okay. Chocolate milk here. Yeah, we'll have the chocolate milk. Not quite moo milk, but it will do. Chocolate flavoured milk. Very sweet. It was in the refrigerator at home. Cool. Can we not, like, shut the refrigerator? Yeah, we can. Cool. Uh, so, I guess... Oh, what else have we got here? Don't feel like washing my hands right now. Fair enough. Dude, this place is not nice. Honestly. I don't feel like cooking right now. Yeah, fair play. Alright, well, there's sweet FA we can really do around here. Hmm. What else do we have? A little notebook. That's cool. Ooh. Five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. Listen to that sound. It's so good. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. Been stuck here for five days. The phone doesn't work and the TV doesn't work. I can't even get anybody something. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door's changed up and the windows are sealed shut. And on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. Walter? Who's Walter? What's going on here? This game certainly had my interest. That's Elaine Galvin from next door. Party, eh? Could throw a party in here. Oh, we can have a little look around. What's with all the hands? Hmm. Well, something just happened through there. What was that? 
I don't know, dude. Can we not, like, examine this bit of paper on the floor here? What's this? What is this? Mum, why don't you wake up? Yeah, definitely something to do with this child uh, situation. Right, I'm going to save the game, guys, and see how this came out. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. This is going to be good. Um, I'm guessing it goes to shit because a lot of people don't like this game. Usually, if a lot of people don't like this game, there's a game. There's generally a reason for it. However, I have an open mind. I'm going to see if it truly is that bad. So far, very intriguing. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.